Robert, would you please introduce by yourself? Yeah. I'm Robert, and I'm the singer. <laughs> and I'm Simon, and I play bass, guitar. I'm Lawrence, I play keyboards. I play drums, and I'm Boris. Paul. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about your new album, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. It's a double album featured 18 songs. It's great work. And uh, could you tell me what's the concept of that album? Um, there isn't one really. Mm -hmm. The concept is there is no concept. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just um, a collection of um, songs really. Uh -huh. It just is supposed to represent all that the cure does. The whole spectrum of what we do. Well, you recorded in France, South France. So why you choose? Uh, why did you choose that place? Because you could have a good wine. <laughs> that was one of the reasons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah definitely. Mm -hmm. No, we just wanted somewhere that where we could all be together and sort of live and not be in a big city. You know, so the place where we recorded was a long, long way from everybody else. You know, uh -huh. in a big town. So. It was just a pleasant place to record. And yeah, I feel uh, your musical direction has extended. I mean, your sound has changed a little bit, how do I say, brighter? <laughs> yeah, with everyone write, writing or contributing towards the record, it's, mm -hmm. it's meant it's more diverse. I wouldn't necessarily say that that's the reason why it's more pop. I think the, the, sort of the atmosphere in the group is lighter than it has been in previous years. You know, uh, there have been times in the queue when it's been more like an asylum. Mm -hmm. But in fact, there's never been a time when it's been more like an asylum than it is at the moment. <laughs> but it's been um, a more worrying kind of asylum. This is more like a, an old lady's kind of asylum, mm -hmm. as opposed to like a young psycho killer. Uh -huh. Well, and the video clip, uh, it's very unique. So whose idea was that? Uh, it's a combination. Mm -hmm. The videos are always like a combination of of us and Tim Pope, who's done the videos for us for the past four years. Mm -hmm. um, it's difficult to know how the videos end up, how they end up, because um, when we're doing them, it's, a lot of it's very, it's just improvised, it's really spontaneous. It all comes out of the bottom of the bottle, mostly. Mm -hmm. um, so it's Tim Pope who actually puts the, the finished thing together, and he edit, edits it, edits mm -hmm. it, edits it. Edit it. <laughs> Um, so um, we just trust him to make it look good. We don't worry about whether we look good in it. You know, just if the whole thing looks good. That's the difference between our videos and most other people. We try and look worse than we actually are. Difficult, but we sometimes achieve. Well, uh, how do you uh, feel, think about the, uh, the current uh, music scene? Um, what do you mean, as reflected in? Or the music in 80s. <laughs> I think that um, what you're led to believe that people like, which is not reflected in what people buy, which is the charts, has always been dreadful. Um, the last time there was a good number one was about 1969. But there's, uh, there's enough good people making good music to warrant keep listening. Um, but I think there's so much good music that's been made over the years, and uh, it seems pointless to just keep listening to people who don't make interesting music. No, why the same people, or why different people make the same music all the time, I've never understood. They just sort of replace each other, you know. Hugh Lewis and the Need and Nina Richie, all these people should be hung. Mm -hmm. No, they shouldn't, of course they shouldn't. They're just there as a choice, you know. And that's which is what we are, we just part. I mean, oh, there is an awful amount of bad music made, I think. There's an awful amount of bad records made, but that's just my opinion. I mean, lots of people like Duran Duran, so therefore they should exist. You know. Mm -hmm. well, what a very democratic night. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Duran Duran can continue to exist. <laughs>
in here. Hello. It's my favorite. Hello. Is it Sun's first? Oh, how you like you? It's lovely. Mm. It's funny. <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, it's here. a different culture, really. Ah. Um, you have come up with the latest album, but this is the first in two years, right, Robert? First new one, yeah. First yeah. one we've been in the studio for two years. And this is double album. Yep. Isn't it that, uh, I mean, you know, when you decide to make an album, you, you know, you uh, get together and uh, write together and uh, jam together or, or... With this one, we, um, we all met um, in a very discreet location uh -huh. with cassettes. And then we listened to each other's cassettes and we gave them marks out of 50. And uh, we started with about 100 songs. And well, um, Original from? Yeah, from each of, each of us. And then uh, we sort of narrowed it down to about 40. And then we eventually arrived with 25 that we liked. And out of that came the 18 that and stuff on the record. Mm -hmm. Very ele elaborate. Elaborate, yeah. Uh, how about uh, video clips? Do you uh, uh, watch mm -hmm. other people's videos or you you stay away from them. you try to stay away from them. yeah well because most, most other people's videos have got just three elements in it uh you know a blonde girl guitars exploding and laser rays or something you know, so. cars and motorcycles yeah mm -hmm. so I mean, there's not much point nah, that's fine. yeah one basic idea yeah. 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 there's very few videos that are made um with the other than with the purpose of selling the group and making them look good, which after a while it gets very tedious just to see people doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very few people make videos that, um, where they they don't worry what they look like and they just make the video to be entertaining. Generally, video shows are pretty drab affairs, so, really. Uh -huh. But then the, the songs that they accompany are pretty drab usually. So. Right. What did you do with the the video with uh, Why Can I Be You? Uh, was it originally your idea, your concept? Uh, well, we, we were, have worked with the same director for the past four years, Tim Pope, um, and what we do is we just discuss with him what we want to convey in the video, and we come up with like a, a set of ingredients, and then he takes those and he makes it into, into a, a workable idea. All, all that we wanted to do in the Why Can't I Be You video was dance. We wanted to look like, um, there's a good dance guy, I keep saying five stuff, they're hopeless, aren't they? We wanted to look like, who's that guy that used to go, do that with sets, four tops. Yeah. Oh, four tops. Yeah. Uh -huh. well, don't we look just like the four tops? Yeah, <laughs> we do. The Cure. Why can't I be you?
Was there anything you wanted to accomplish when you came up with the band, or were you, you just uh, wanted to have a good time, or something like that? We started, I mean, we named the group because we were fed up with um, the state of pop music, you know, the same as everyone else in the punk movement. Just You just wanted to change things, make things a bit more exciting. Um, and it, it stayed the same, really, that basic idea, the attitude towards what we do. Um, it's just that, I mean, sort of chart music, most of it is very stagnant. It, it's designed to sell and, and we enjoy making music that has a bit more life to it really. 